hello all so in last lecture we derived these two relations okay and using these two relations we will be deriving some important relations and that will be helpful in our numerical problems so but these two relations are very much important and you must remember this too and i saw you how to remember this okay okay yeah and by remembering this thing nc is always greater than equals to ni you will never okay mistake do any kind of mistake in writing nc above or ni above right always since nc is always greater than equals to ni you will always put nc above okay and similarly okay i am since i have not explained the last lecture but it is again intuitive that nv should be greater than or equals to ni same thing for s nc and why so what was nv in our last pre previous video nv was effective density of states in valence band and it means that uh, let me uh, take one example that right? suppose there is some uh, some 50 group of people okay and they are on the ground floor and they need to okay go to the first floor right so how many this is actually our ev and first floor is our ec so how many number of people will go obviously all 50 will go or less than 50 right so either whole nv will go or less than nv and whatever is number of people are going about is nothing but our ni over here okay so nv should be always greater than or equals to ni correct i hope it is clear so and let me do one thing again that since i told you in last lecture that we are discussing about intrinsic semiconductor let me explicitly put this since uh, it is not necessary but to avoid confusion we are putting explicitly that efi okay that is fermi level of an intrinsic semiconductor right so that when we move towards extrinsic there is no problem of the notations so now proceeding further we will be deriving very important relation right so as we all know as i said that this n equals p equals ni so i am again writing n equals p and is same as ni correct and from mass action law we know that for any semiconductor this is number of holes and electrons is same as the square of the intrinsic carrier concentration in that semiconductor so utilizing this relation we will be deriving a very important relation now just put the value of n and p from here as we all know as i said this this two equations very much important if you know this you can derive this or if you know this you can derive this okay but this two are easy to remember and knowing this you can easily derive this so i am writing n from here okay the number of electrons in intrinsic and as we all know all are the same so I am writing n from here. So writing the value of n, it is nothing but nc e power. And similarly, writing the value of p, that is nv e power ef minus ev by kt. And as we all know, since the base is same, the power will be added. So let me write ni square now on this side. So we are left with ni square as nc nv and you can clearly see ef will get cancelled right because here minus minus will make ef plus and over here we have minus ef so at the end we are left with e power ec minus ev by kt and minus sign is outside and as we all know ec and ev this gap is called band gap so let us denote it by eg that is gap band gap so we are left with very important relation and it is eg by kt right so ni square and you can see that ni square is given by this so if you want ni what we will do just we will under root whole this thing so under rooting this will give half power so we are writing half over here okay or you can just put the whole thing in the root so this is very important relation that ni is under root nc nv e power eg by 2kd and one most important questions comes in many of the examinations okay that what they will do they will provide the concentration of 
that is ni at some temperature t1 and they will ask to, to find the concentration of that is ni at some temperature t2 okay so easily you can just what we have to do just we have to take the ratios ni1 upon ni2 right and they will provide all other things okay one trick they do is that they provide directly kt1 as something okay 0 0.026 electron volt something okay so you might wonder that where from where to put kt2 they will provide t1 t2 both but they will not provide k they will directly provide kt2 but as we all know kt1 by kt2 okay is nothing but t1 by t2 correct and we know what is t1 by t2 they, they will provide individual t1 by t2 so from that we can easily calculate kt2 and you can put over here so this question will be now easy okay this is the only trick they are playing now this is the important relation to be remembered this, let me uh, call it equation number three and one more result okay that is as we all know uh, i am showing this only that you can see that in intrinsic semiconductor we can say that uh, efi that is intrinsic semiconductor fermi level is always at the center right you can see that but it is not actually at, always at the center it is slightly below the center and we will be proving this mathematically so let's start again see how to proceed okay if you remember the proofs you will the things will get easy okay to get memorized we know n i equals to p i right that is number of electrons in the inter intrinsic semiconductor is same as number of holes in intrinsic semiconductor it is same as intrinsic carrier concentration right it is n i okay so these two are all three things are same n equals p equals n i right from this equation don't confuse with the notation that i am over here i have written n i just you can assume that number of electrons in intrinsic and number of holes in intrinsic semiconductor correct so we know these two things n and p from here n equals nc okay so we will be just equating both of them so nc e power minus of ec minus ef by kt right is same as nv e power minus of ef minus ev by kt right now you can see the cancellations which cancellations will happen first of all let me write nc by nv this side is given by e power uh, okay so what we will get ec plus ev minus twice ef we will get right this come downwards and when it will go upwards there will be positive sign so we are left with plus ev minus ef minus ef and plus ec so ec plus ev minus 2 ef okay so because we are left with minus ef minus ef so we get 2 ef okay just do this it is very simple okay and by kt is there so we are left with this equation now taking log natural log on both the sides so we are now left with this equation this will be ec plus ev upon minus 2 ef upon kt so now what we will do just as we want this band gap okay this fermi level okay sorry not band gap over here we want fermi level expression right so we will try to make this as our subject so first of all let us bring that this side so we our kt will be now here okay i am cancelling from this side so kt ln nc by nv is ec plus ev minus 2 ef now just make ef as subject so bring ef this side right so twice of ef is given by ec plus ev minus of kt ln nc by nv clear so what will be the ef just divide this equation by whole equation by 2 so this this i am dividing by 2 and this i am dividing by 2 okay and this two can we can bring it inside the log by taking the under root since we know that power half is nothing but under root so we are now with this beautiful expression which is very much important and it says so many things let me give it name equation number four it says that 
our fermi level uh, i again forgot to write explicitly efi okay you can write explicitly efi in order to denote intrinsic semiconductor right so we are left with efi is nothing but ec plus ev so this is not actually exit center it is below by how much amount by this much amount and this amount will be very small so approximately always what we consider actually what happens nc is approximately equals to nv in most of the cases i am not saying in all case in most of the case and in competitive examination they will give some special case only which will not follow this criteria so i am not saying in all cases in most of the cases nc is same as nv so ln1 and log1 is zero so this whole term disappears and we just simply assume that the fermi level that is intrinsic fermi level is always at the center but it is not always the case okay in numerical type they will also ask to find directly efi value or they can ask in statement form that uh, by how much amount the efi is lowered right so by this much amount and you need to calculate this okay they will provide the needed values so this is the very important result thank you